Hi everyone, welcome back to Faith and Flower. This is Robin. We just returned home from a beautiful week of camping in Corpus Christi, Texas. We have a 30 foot Airstream International, but even if you have a different type of RV or if you're just trying to figure out some small space storage in your home, I'm hoping that some of the ideas that I share with you today will be helpful. We are fairly new to RVing. We just got our rig back in November of 2020 and we've been taking a lot of trips small trips here and there, but this is the first time that we spent an entire week in one location. So this gave me a little extra time to really examine our storage solutions and make things a little bit more functional as well as aesthetically pleasing, just like I would at home. Up until now, I've been bringing things on the RV that I knew I could just leave here, which has been super helpful. And then anything we needed for our shorter trips, we would just bring and stow wherever it made sense. This time I brought some storage containers from home. These are pieces that I'm no longer using at home. I did a complete redo of our pantry. If you're interested in that, I will have it linked in the cards above. But these were leftover containers that work really well and I'm hoping that this oval shape will fit into some of the areas that I have to store here in the RV. And so of course I keep cereal in containers like this at home so it makes sense to do it when we're on the road as well. Especially when we're at the beach where the weather is really humid to keep everything nice and fresh. These containers are modular mates from Tupperware and I have them in my Amazon store. As a matter of fact, I'm going to link as many things as I'm showing you today in my Amazon store and you can find that link down in the description box. I will show you all of the areas that I've organized in our RV, so keep watching until the end if you're interested in more than the kitchen. But I did spend a lot of time focusing on the kitchen because on our previous trips I had worked out the other areas pretty well but the kitchen was something of a challenge because usually when we go on shorter trips, of course we have less food. And with going for a week, I really wanted to maximize the areas and make them work for us during this more extended stay. Right next to the entrance of our RV, there's this little cubby space. And so I got a felt bag and we keep shoes and the dog leash and things like that in there. And I also have space behind it. So we've stowed extra shoes or miscellaneous things in there as well. And there's some umbrellas underneath the bag. And I've strategically put a lot of things right next to the door so that we can quickly open the door and grab anything we need without letting all the air conditioning out or having to come fully inside the RV to find it. So like my sunglasses and phones and things will sit on the armrest lots of times. I have a little pile of beach towels there that are easy to grab. And this bench is like our couch and hangout area and it becomes Peyton's bed at night there's a huge storage area underneath. And I'm not gonna show you inside because there's no particular organization to it. We have one bin with extra shoes and a little bit of extra sodas and things in there. And the smaller one at the end is where we keep all of Austin's things. This container is what I normally keep his food in at home. So we just grab that and bring it along. We've got dog treats and a smaller bin there for any other extra things that we need to bring along for him, plus his dog towels, all of that. Speaking of Austin, he's here with me as I'm filming today. This is his spot underneath our dinette and it's perfect because he loves sleeping in his crate at home and this gives him that same sort of cave-like feel. And then over here on the left is the kitchen and I left it like we normally have it just to show you what it's like on a daily basis. I've got a few command hooks that I added to the side and again, those are so we can put our keys there, grab them quickly from the door with ease. That's also why I have sunscreen sitting up there. We can grab that from outside and all of the cups with our water are right here as well. And this is our Berkey filter. This is how we make sure that we have clean water no matter where we go. And Airstream comes with three hooks up here at the top and we make use of those two with hand towels or whatever else we need to hang there. I usually leave our dish drainer out on the countertop because it just makes things easy. I wash the dishes, let them drain, and then once they're dry or before the next meal, I'll put them away or reuse them. This dish drainer has a little spout that directs the water back into the sink and it's collapsible. So if I don't want it on the countertop, I can fold it up and stash it away underneath the sink. We also keep our coffee maker and the canister that keeps the coffee capsules out because it's just much more convenient, but counter 
counter space is precious. So other than the salt and pepper, most everything else has a home off of the countertop. Right above the countertop, we have these two large compartments for storage. And I like to keep everything other than food for the kitchen up here. One thing that you'll notice is I have a whole lot of these woven baskets from Target. They are wonderful for the RV. They are the perfect shape for the cabinets that we have. And because they're soft, I don't have to worry about them bumping around or scratching and rattling and making a lot of noise when we move. And I can easily pull it out and access what I need. So in this one, I've got cups. I've got some paper cups and some metal cups that we use on a daily basis, plus some food storage containers. And of course I can swap things out if I find a better configuration, but this has really been working for us. These collapsible silicone food containers are great. I've been using these and loving them. So if you're looking for a great food storage solution, you might wanna check those out. I've got them in my Amazon store. They can be put in the freezer, the microwave, the refrigerator, they're awesome. Along with some plastic measuring cups and various other items, we keep our plates up here. And we really love the Corel plates. They're highly recommended for RV use because they are very durable. They're thin and stack really well. They're also lightweight and you can use them in the microwave. I found this container for plates, which is great because it helps me use the vertical space in this area and I can wedge all of the plates in there so that when we're moving, they don't rattle around. I also keep a small supply of paper plates and bowls in here as well. And we don't use those generally when we're camping unless we don't have access to water. And in that case, they're really convenient to have. So I keep them here for those occasions. In the other cabinet, I have a basket full of plastic utensils and napkins. And again, we don't use those regularly, but when we need them, they're really convenient to have. And so I keep them here and I can just grab this basket and take it outside to a picnic table or whatever. And I have another one of these woven bins from Target. And in this one, I have some miscellaneous items like some things for making coffee when we are dry camping and we are not able to have electricity to use our coffee maker, stuff like that. I also have these stackable bowls. I got those from Pampered Chef years ago, so I don't know if they're still available, but I love them because I've got a large colander, two plastic bowls, and there's a smaller colander that goes in here as well. And because they stack inside of each other, they don't take up a lot of space. I also got these from Tupperware years and years ago, so I don't think you can still find them, but they're great for spices. And I've labeled a lot of those and they're on a Lazy Susan, and I can put the bowls right on top. If you can't find these sorts of things, there are loads of collapsible bowls that you can find that take up less space that are made of silicone, so be on the lookout for those. Underneath the sink, we have a garbage can, and I love that Airstream routed out a place on the shelf for that, so it sits secure and it doesn't move around when we're traveling. Next to that, I have a dish pan, and this serves several different purposes. So just like at home, I like to have a container underneath the drain, so if there's a leak, this would capture it. But I also use it for storing things like my dish towels and microfiber cloths. I've got some antibacterial wipes and also various other things I can stash in there, like our dish soap when we're on the move. And I can use this bin for washing dishes when we are boondocking and we don't have access to a lot of water. Right next to that, I've still got space, so I put my cutting boards and there's a cover for our sink, which also fits really nicely there. And behind that, I've stowed some plastic grocery bags. We reuse those as trash can liners in our bathroom. And also they're great to have on hand if you need to put something wet inside when you're traveling. On the bottom shelf, there's just enough space for all of our pots and pans. And you may have noticed that I put this shelf liner in a lot of areas to keep things from moving around when we're traveling. And also just to keep our cookware extra safe, I put a layer of felt in between each pot and pan that I stack.
There are two storage areas below the microwave. The top one is a drawer. It's really large and it has plenty of room for all of our utensils, our knives, anything that I need for cooking fits in here really well. And we even have extra space on the side where I can put all of our coffee cups. The space underneath isn't deep enough for a drawer, but there's still plenty of room for some pantry items. There's a similar compartment underneath the stove that is very shallow, but it's a really good size for things like tin foil and plastic wrap and our coffee filters. We also have two more sort of pantry areas right here to the right of the stove. In the upper one, I'm keeping things like rice and sugar and cereal in these Tupperware containers. And below that, I completely forgot to film. <laughs> so it's a pull-out pantry, and I'll show you a picture of it when I filmed it new, with lots of shelves, and I found that those oval containers fit perfectly in here. So I've got some smaller ones with snacks and things like that, and other small pantry items fit in that area really well. We also have two storage compartments, one under each bench of our dinette. And so I use these for kitchen items as well. In this one, I have extra coffee filters, some aluminum sandwich wrap and Ziploc bags, and underneath everything on the bottom, I have a couple of tablecloths that we can use if we have access to picnic tables outside. In the Airstream model that we chose, we don't have any cabinetry above our dinette, so I was a little concerned that we were limiting our storage in the kitchen area, but it has been totally fine, and having the windows up there instead lets in tons of natural light, which we've really enjoyed. And there's Austin again. He's taking a break from being outside where it is really hot, but he's cooling off in here with me. And in this other bin, I just keep our canned goods and extra spices. There's really lots of space for those types of things, and I really like having them in these bins. On to the refrigerator and freezer. This is our freezer compartment, which is not very full at all on this trip. We have fit more in here. It will definitely handle ice cream and quite a few other things. We even have a compartment on the door that we're not using. Right now, I've got a big bin for ice and some ice cube trays, which normally we wouldn't allow ourselves that luxury, but because we have the space, I'm doing it on this trip. And I've got some gluten-free bread, which freezes really well in there for Peyton. I brought a few refrigerator bins that I had ordered from Amazon to see if I could sort of maximize the functionality of our refrigerator on this trip. I actually only wound up using three of them. As it turns out, the refrigerator is laid out pretty well, so I didn't need a lot of storage bins like I do at home. I did, however, put all of our meat in one of them, so I've got some hamburger underneath and sandwich meats on top. The middle one I use for all of our cheeses, and I put some tortillas in the one on the far left. And so when I'm making a wrap, I can just quickly grab all three of these trays and close the refrigerator, and then I have everything out on the counter that I need for making a quick lunch. Our refrigerator already came with these bins underneath, and so they are great for stashing away most of our produce. That's pretty much it for the kitchen, and now I'll show you some of our other storage solutions for the rest of our Airstream. We are able to fit so many things in this large armoire. On the top shelf, I have a couple of extra pillows, and I actually stuff those in a couple areas when we're traveling to keep things from rattling around. I've got plenty of space for extra towels. This is a very deep compartment, so I actually have a whole nother stack behind the one that you see. Below is all of our hanging storage. Patrick, Peyton, and I have a lot of shirts, raincoats, and things like that hanging in here. It's great in the winter time for winter coats and I have a collapsible fabric laundry bin and I much prefer this to a plastic one because again it doesn't bump around and rattle in here and it's also very lightweight it's got handles I got this one from the Grove Collaborative and when I had to do laundry on this trip it was really convenient
Recently, we added this adhesive mirror to our closet door. We have a very small mirror in our bathroom, so this really helps when we're getting ready for the day. Back in the bedroom, we've got a few other areas where we can keep clothes. We've got a locker on either side, and we have a lot of space in the overhead bin above the beds. We chose a model that has twin beds, and we did that to give us a lot of flexibility depending on who's coming camping with us. So normally when it's just the three of us, Patrick will take one twin and I'll take the other, and Peyton will sleep at the front on the sort of pullout couch. And we got this mattress, sort of like mattress topper, that's really comfortable for Peyton to make that space really cozy. And I just keep a fitted sheet on it, rolled up sort of at the end of this bed. It takes up almost no room. And on the other side, I've got his pillow and blanket. And so when it's time to make up his bed, everything's ready to go and easily accessible. Patrick and I keep the rest of our clothes in this overhead storage bin above our beds and once again I'm making use of those Target woven baskets. So they're great for keeping all of our clothes organized and easily accessible. We can grab these when we're getting ready for the day and sort through what we want. I love how they look when the cabinet's closed as well. We have a nightstand with a drawer in between the beds and in here I have a basket in the back where we keep some of our electronic items. So computer chargers, um, earbuds, <laughs> any kind of cables and remotes will go in there. And then we have lots of space for reading material. I have a box for jewelry and of course we can stow our phones in there as well. At the foot of one of the beds is a tall locker and Peyton keeps his extra clothes in here. So again, I have two of those Target baskets. He keeps socks and underwear in one and pajamas in the other, one behind. And if you didn't want the shelves, you could hang things in here, but I think this makes much better use of this space. And then he's got some t-shirts and shorts folded in there. And of course it doesn't always look like that, but we can close the door and keep it contained. And then the other locker just has some miscellaneous items. I've got hats and various things on the top. I've got a space for my purse and then a little area here where I keep some extra sheets and I have another one of those Target baskets in the back with everything I need to do laundry. In here I keep a small laundry bag for shorter trips, a mesh bag for delicates, some spot removers. I have our laundry dryer sheets and laundry detergent packs in here along with a bag of quarters because all of the places where we can do laundry when we're traveling are coin operated. Keeping everything corralled together like this makes it super convenient on laundry day. I can just grab this small basket and our hamper from the closet and I have everything I need to get the laundry done. Another reason why we like to have the twin beds is because of all the storage that it provides. So there are four lockers like this, two under each side. And right now I have some extra snacks in a bin under this one. And you can see I still have loads of room under here. And then on the other side, I have some paper products like extra paper towels, tissues, and toilet paper. Plus I've got some more of those Tupperware containers that we might make use of on future trips, but for now they're sitting there empty and we have two other lockers that we have empty as well. Next, I'll show you a few of the ways that I am organizing in our bathroom. On this side of the hall, we have our toilet and sink and a lot of storage and across the hall is our shower. Our RV only came with one towel bar, so right away we added three of these towel command hooks. And they're great for the RV because the adhesive doesn't mar the walls, yet they are very strong. And we are also using Turkish towels, which are really great for RV living because they dry super fast. And even though they're very thin, they're quite absorbent. They take a little getting used to if you're used to the big thick terry cloth type towels, but so far we really like them and they're also great for the beach because the sand doesn't stick to them. 
This tall cabinet on the left is where the guys keep most of their toiletries. It's not super organized, so I won't show you that today. We also have a shelf above, which is where I keep a lot of my items. In the sliding compartment to the left, I keep some extra hand towels, washcloths, and our toiletry travel cases. And as you can see, this is where you'll find the toilet paper and some extra tissues. There's another large compartment underneath the sink. And again, I'm making use of those Target woven baskets. This one has all of my sort of hair accessories in there. I've got brushes and hair products along with my blow dryer. There's also plenty of space for a cosmetic bag and extra toilet paper back there. On the shelf below, I have another Target basket and this one contains some of our cleaning products. And there you have it. That's what I have done to organize our RV so far. If you got some inspiration or ideas for how to organize your RV or a small space in your home, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment. If you have an RV or camper, let me know what type and also what kinds of RV related videos would you like to see on my channel? If you're new here, don't leave without subscribing. We'd love to have you join our Faith and Flower community. I love talking with you in the comments. So leave me one below and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week.